If an amalgam filling is leaking, it has to be removed. This is called an amalgam replacement. As a patient, you will recognize the black edge gap, the black arrows, between the teeth and filling. This is a sign of leakage. You will usually not feel any pain. Luckily, the entire filling does not have to be removed. A crosscut is usually sufficient, as this causes parts of the filling to get separated. In this picture, you can see the cuts, emphasized by the black marks. Were this area to be drilled, large parts of the filling would come out. Cutting causes you and the doctor to be exposed to less quicksilver. To further reduce quicksilver exposure during amalgam removal, it is recommended that you use your own metal milling machine, pictured on the right, instead of a diamond-coated drill, pictured on the left. In this video, you can see an amalgam removal. The dark areas below the amalgam filling are partly amalgam discoloration and partly secondary cavities. During the drilling of the filling, just as in the implantation of the filling, most quicksilver is being released in the form of vapor. The rubber dam does not protect you from the vapors, but it does prevent amalgam pieces from penetrating the trachea, which could cause serious complications. Furthermore, the rubber membrane also prevents exposure to the fine amalgam sand, for the most part.